What is going on everybody? This is another video today. We're talking about some news and this one is about or regarding the rumors of Menzi signing with a new company and preparing for a solo comeback or release probably sometime this year. Of course, her side, her Menzi and her representatives and whoever have denied that that is a thing, but it's going to happen. We just, you just, if you think about it, it's going to happen. So let's talk about that, right? You know, it should be obvious that she is going to be looking for another company, another, you know, group of people to handle her business and to help her out with producing, you know, music or doing whatever it is that she wants to do. I would assume that she wants to stay in the entertainment industry. And of course, she's already done a pretty significant amount of work as far as with singing and music and pop music. So of course, it's the, it makes sense that she would stay in that. So, you know, this is not going to be crazy news, or it shouldn't be to anybody. The only thing crazy about it really is that like she just left YG like two weeks ago, or it feels like two weeks ago. So the time has been, you know, between leaving YG and this rumor coming up has been very, very short. So, you know, and also the other aspect of this too is like if you really think about it and what the situation must have been with her and 21 at YG is that like I don't think and it's pretty obvious that they weren't doing very much work and if you're not working you're not making any money and without money it's hard to live a comfortable life or just live a life at all you know so like that ties into the fact that like with this signing of a, to to a new company, she's also rumored to be you know working on a solo release, which is like duh, because she needs to work to make money to live, and you know that's the way it goes. It's it's not it's not it shouldn't be a surprise to anybody, um, you know. And and also, the fact that this rumor comes out like so quickly after she left, also again paired with a comeback a solo release rumor as well, kind of just adds to that feeling that YG was just basically like, you know, Minzy and the rest of the 21 members, except for CL, uh, you're on your own for the moment, you were, you're not even in our thoughts, we don't have any plans at the moment, uh, just sit there and wait patiently and something will, ha- some, we've, we've got plans, we don't know what they are, but it, something will happen soon. And you know, obviously, like, if you, if you had, if you were working, if you had work, right, and, you know, suddenly you decide for whatever reason, or your contract expires at your company, whatever, like, you wouldn't be, I don't think, just, like, immediately going and looking for new work, or you wouldn't be, you know, there wouldn't be talk of you returning to work for a little bit, I don't think, because one, I assume you would want to take some time off before you get into that again, um, you know, because I you know, that'd be nice. Vacation every once in a while is kind of nice, you know? And then again, as far as like working and earning money, there wouldn't be, there shouldn't be, you know, like an immediate need to get back to work. So, you know, you have that freedom to take the time off to rest and all that before you actually get back into, you know, working with a brand new company that you've signed with. So, you know, it, it feels a bit weird. I might be off about that, but that's just my take on this. So the question is, you know, or the, the thing that's got the, the most interesting part of this, right? I think is like why did they even deny the fact that she's signed with another company that they're planning on a solo release and you know the only reason or there's two reasons obviously you know nobody wants to have you know PR and news like that that is out of their control everyone wants to control the news that is coming out of their side right they want to they want to control the message so by having that rumor out there they don't have any control over it they did not want it out if it's actually a thing that's happened. So, of course, they're going to say like, uh, no, excuse me, that's not what actually happened. Because, of course, you know, this is a thing that happens. And you know this all the time in K-pop. It's like, you know, these people are dating or this thing is happening and the company is like, we can need, we can't, we do not know what is going on. We are investigating. It's like, you know exactly what is going on. You are just, that, that's just your response right now before you think about it on whether or not it's actually a good thing to, you know, address in whichever way you're going to. So this is like a, he didn't really want this out, but give us a minute to think about what the best plan of action is here. And then we'll get back to you with an official statement, which is should, I would assume be coming fairly soon if this is kind of true, which I 
do believe that it is true. The second point is the fan perception of this. And this is, I think that this is probably, maybe it's a stretch, maybe it's not, I don't know, because, you know, people know that K-pop fans are crazy sometimes. And this is, you know, I get the feeling that some of the crazier and more serious and passionate people would see this as a bit insensitive and rude because she has, you know, just like left 21 with YG, left YG to, to take care of herself, you know, basically being, I guess you can say, as I'm sure a lot of people would characterize her as being selfish to go off and do this. And then she signs with another company so soon after just, you know, abandoning everybody like that and now she's working on her own and doing stuff like that there are definitely i think people out there that would just absolutely tear into her for that so you know having having this become official and known so soon after she leaves yg and there was you know big contra well not big controversy but it was big news there it could definitely stir stir up some bad you know bad opinions from people on the internet and, you know, of course, I don't think that you would want to really, you know, stir that up. And I definitely don't, would not want to, would would like to avoid that if I were her. So, I don't know. It's crazy. But either way, even if whatever my thing is, I'm sure that there's fans out, there are fans out there that will find something to be upset with her about regarding this. It could be anything. They're, they're very well, you know, could be like, that's plagiarism, even though there, she didn't release any music to plagiarize. Because you know how they like to make up plagiarism claims and stuff like that. That's that's because that's that's the way the people on the internet are. So I don't know. It's overall it's interesting. This news shouldn't be particularly shocking to anybody. The only real shock or interesting aspect to this is one, it's happened. It's come up quickly after she left YG, and then two, they even denied it, which you know raises questions, of course, whether or not this is true or you know. Why did you even deny it in the first place? I don't even know. But interesting things to talk about or think about or whatever. So let me know what you think about this in the in the comment in the comments below. Are you would you sub are you a supporter of her solo career after 21 or are you against her for whatever reason? Let me know your answer the answers to those questions and whatever other sorts of thoughts you have, you know, down in the comments below on social media, on Twitter and Facebook. There's links to those profiles and more in the description box below. So that is going to be it for this video. As always, I'm going to thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Like the only girl group at YG, really, or the only girl group that's like, you know, K-pop at YG. Having them turn against you is probably not the best thing. Uh, losing their support again, also probably not the best thing. And, you know, there's probably a very large crossover between people who like 21 and people who like Big Ben.